Hey, Plan Fam. How are you doing today? I thought today we would talk about Alocasia Fry Deck because I have been feeling my Fry Deck. Oof. She looks good. So I thought, why not just give Fry Deck her own video? <laughs> A few things to remember with alocasia which is humidity don't let them catch cold and they are going to die back during the winter during their dormancy period but alocasia grows from a rhizome or a corm so it will spring back in the growing season next year slow down your watering make sure you're giving it nice bright indirect sunlight and it should come back for you in the spring. I've had really good luck with that. I have had all my leaves die back and just have a tiny little stump and it has come back and given me leaves again. So don't stress out if your alocasia starts dying here in a few months because it is the change of the seasons and you're gonna notice your plants are gonna start going into dormancy periods. So when we think about alocasia, we really want to think about where they come from to give them their ideal environment. And they do come from Southeast Asia, Alocasia fry deck. This is a hybrid. And I really like to then look up the climates of those regions or even go onto iPhone and check the weather of a city in that area and check their humidity, check their weather for a good growing period and try to replicate those conditions but I am a bit of a nerd like that so I think that's really fun you might think that's really stupid so I'll give you a good shot of fry deck and go into some more details about her and then I'll meet you back here here is fry deck in all of her glory and you can see how big these leaves are she is really out of control I love her here I also have a black velvet alocasia with my fry deck and that's really to help you see the coloring that you get with fry deck. It really has a monstera color to it and speaking of monstera, my fry deck is in the exact same environment as my monstera. So it is in medium bright indirect light and it is thriving. It has really long tuberous stems and I would imagine if I gave it brighter lighting, they probably wouldn't get so long because they would find the sun. And there are some leaves poking out along the sides here as well. That is the sign of a thriving alocasia. If it is bushy, it's holding its leaves and growing more leaves, your alocasia is thriving. I hate to say it because I don't like hurting anybody's feelings, but if your alocasia is growing a leaf, losing a leaf, it's just aliving, it ain't thriving. But there is hope. It's not dying, it's happy, but I would maybe give it a better environment, maybe a little more indirect light. Make sure your watering is what it needs. Use a meter reader or a moisture probe as one might say, I always call it a meter reader, to figure out what's going on with your watering. You can see my alocasia black velvet. It's aliving. There ain't no shame in my game. One of the most beautiful things about Frydeck is this beautiful cream veining on the leaves. It is insanity. Look at that. Another sign of a thriving alocasia is pups. And with propagation and alocasia, alocasia does most of the work. So let it be an enjoyable experience. Really put on your horticultural therapy hat and enjoy it. My mother plant here has gone through a few generations of pups already. And there's one right here. This is actually a little baby that's gonna go to my friend Brittany. The general rule of thumb with alocasia is you want the baby to be about a third of the size of the parent when you pull it out for propagation. But let me just be clear because that's kind of obscure. Oh, a third of the size. What you're going to do to propagate this is you're going to take this little baby and you're going to dig down into the roots and pull it from the mother and they are connected. So you want your baby to be hardy enough 
to withstand being pulled away from the mother. You want to be able to get a nice grip on this stem down here. That's really all you do. Put it in another pot. Next year, I'm really going to go into experimentation mode with my propagations, and I'm going to acclimate a few of the babies into water. Some of them I'm going to give dappled sunlight to and see how they take it. Like she literally lives right above my Monstera, so that's why I think she is just easy care. Easy care alocasia. Definitely recommend Alocasia Frydeck, especially if you're a beginner, because it's forgiving. I have underwatered it before, it didn't drop a leaf, but for the most part, it's living really well in the same environment as my Monstera. I think next year I'm going to give her Prime indirect sun placement just to see what happens, and she deserves it. She's done really well for me. It's my girl. I have mine in really well draining nursery pots. So they dry out really fast. I have a lot of orchid bark and pumice stone, worm castings, and some organic soil mix in there, along with some charcoal. So it's a really chunky tropical soil mix and they really enjoy being in that. I do not let this dry out even close to what my Monstera does. If it's dry, I immediately water. I do let it drain and dry very well, but never bone dry. I think part of the reason alocasia get bad rep is because of their leaves. They do have delicate leaves, and once a leaf takes a little bit of damage, there's just no stopping the eventual meltdown. You can see here I have a tiny little hole here, and eventually that's just going to grow. That little nick on the leaf is going to deteriorate the whole leaf, but my alocasia is so happy with itself right now that it is holding even the damaged leaves and eventually they are going to fold out. Alocasia that aren't quite as happy with their life are going to disintegrate quite a bit faster. So that's another sign that you might want to up your environment game for your alocasia. If your leaves are disintegrating really fast, here you can see a shot of the little pup that's coming out. I ain't gonna mess with it at all until it has a nice thickum stem to grab onto and pull it away from its mother. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me and Frydeck and leave me a comment and let me know. This is my first All About video, so do let me know if there is more or less you would like to hear about the plants because I do plan on doing some more of these for y'all. And also, if you have a plant that is thriving that you would like us to all get to know, subscribers, you know I love to do a good collab, so shoot me a comment, DM me on Insta, and we'll do the thing. I'll see you guys on the next episode.